Yo, yo, we back. It's another episode. Friends on the rampage. You know me, Zeno 120. You know I'm not a rapper. Um, then I got my boy um James in here. You know. Yo. Okay, okay. Then I got my boy Chris in here. I ain't about to let you get away with that outtake, David. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked up, y'all. <laughs> hey, you sick? You don't. You ain't gotta tell them that. All right. All right, dope. All right. So today, without Chris wilding out, even though he gonna start wilding out, uh, we talking about Real Appeal, right? Um, if you don't know what Real Appeal is, it's a group. It's basically like a group of dudes. Uh, they call themselves like the Manosphere. Um, and they like. Yeah, they like, like quote unquote alphas. You know, get all the women and stuff, but. They, but respectively, like, if, if you're not talking about, like, the very few who aren't, like, super toxic, it's really just, like, anti-feminism. That's kind of how I, under, you know what I'm saying, understand it. Is that how you understand it, Chris? I just see him as the male version of feminism. Okay, well, yeah. Except, um, for, except for less, less homosexuality on, on the man part. We don't, they, they don't really teach um, gold start being you know only banging men they just like women are you know toys and you just supposed to use them and then uh never fall in love with a bitch apparently right so them them the types that see anything anything like positive like when a guy speaks to a woman or whatever and he say anything positive they call him a simp you know just stuff you're supposed to do i don't know like as just a regular human being they like call them simps and stuff. Um, from what I understand, a lot of them consider themselves high value men. Um, it's a little different from an incel because incels just accepted the fact that they just not gonna be with nobody. From, <laughs> but but they they still get women though. like that's the whole goal. You feel me? But um, I'm just gonna get my take. I just feel like. I see both sides. Like I, I can see how it can be negative. Anything can be negative, right? As as long as you got the extremists out there, um, I, you know, because of course people are they gonna overdo it. Like it's 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 good to you know have confidence and stuff like that, but it's definitely a difference between confidence and arrogance. And a lot of what I've seen, especially like online, because it's like an online group, is uh, arrogance. But I see th- a bunch of head assery. Keep going, I'm sorry. Essentially, because a lot of them who call themselves red pill don't really be much, you know what I'm saying, much to look at, think about. They just, like, un- under average dudes, in my opinion, or, like, quote-unquote, like, high-value men. Like, I I think that's just um, a title, a self-proclaimed title, but that's just my opinion. But I do, I do see the positives because, like, it's when you're not in a, you know, the, the bad part of it you do it is a place for men because if you think about it men don't get a lot of outlets so it's a place where men can come and you know talk about whatever they you know dealing with with or i guess how they interact with women and stuff like that um uh, making them waste yeah yeah bar, like barbershop talk yeah exactly so but that's that's just how i see it though i mean Women, women got like the whole like the view and stuff like that, but you ain't really about to see a lot of the, like the views and like Oprah shows and stuff like that because a lot of them are like they women, but it's it's pretty women focused, you know, and it's not pandering like some some content creators like you know they pander to women yeah, or they pander like, like the I mean I wasn't gonna say it I wasn't gonna say it, but. Yeah, like it's not that it's just us coming together just having being able to have a conversation without pretty much You know what I'm saying being called weak or something like that because you know when guys Oh go talk to her. You'd be like, ah, you know, I ain't I ain't that great at it or whatever You know cuz everybody ain't got the ain't everybody ain't got the juice or the sauce So, you know some people struggle and you this would be a place you can come in and be like, oh, you know I struggle with this and be like, oh, we got you fam. You know, that's That's how it's, that's how it should be but you know it is what it is. So, I mean, how y'all feel about it? Chris? Are you going to let James go first? Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, okay, okay. So, 
Man, I, I just think, you know, with, with, with a lot of this stuff, I just feel like people only willing to see stuff from um, their perspective. And when I say that, just like what we were just talking about, where, you know, whenever you do put, you know, guys in a space and they're expressing themselves and then, like, you know, people come and be like, oh, that's bad, you know, that's toxic or that's misogynistic. And it's just like, y'all got some of the same avenue and y'all doing the same exact thing. But it's it's bad when, you know, when guys do it. Now, for granted, you know, I do agree with, like, you know, all them guys, like, your, your Derrick Jacksons and guys who just think, like, they the shit and use women, you know, they foul. Like, I definitely think that. But I, but I do see value in just people having outlets where they can discuss because just like, you know, women are going to go with their girlfriends, so, you know, sisters, sorority sisters, and had discussions. Guys will do the same thing, and I like the the don't analogy forget, of the barbershop talk. The, right? Don't forget you said the what? Women group chat. Oh yeah, the women group chat. Right? Oh man, the group man, chat. The like, group we, chat. We, we, we all know y'all got the group chat. <laughs> we we found y'all <laughs> out. We already know. <laughs> you, you know, but but I like the analogy of the barbershop because, like, you know, if if anybody's ever been to like. A real barber shop and like even barbers know they like man it's like the sanctuary because guys just talk about so much in a barber shop from life music like when I was like like when I was in college in a barber shop I used to go to I was in I was in grad school my barber he was older than me but he was in undergrad but we used to talk about life women um, he had kids so we used to talk about that and then other people would come and talk about talk about sports. And sometimes you just need that that space and energy to be yourself. And, you know, and I get it, you know, women or people just want to know what guys are doing all the time. But sometimes, right, like, people are like, why are you at the barbershop for two or three hours? Because I can be myself there. To get away like, we kicking it. <laughs> like, you know? Like, 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 for real, like, literally, like, I swear, when I, when I, when I was in grad school going to the barbershops, I would be in there at least three hours at least like at least now if i was going in the middle of work probably an hour and a half it cut me i still kicking for a little bit but at least an hour and a half two hours yeah outside of that i'm up there kicking it you know but that's because we talking like we talking about oh hey you heard that kendrick album and hey, you heard that Cole? oh you seen this movie you you know and i just think it's a you know a good avenue where you know y'all like we say Men don't express themselves, and I can tell you, the barber shop is a different place. Like, <laughs> yeah, they may not be getting no real, you know, a real therapist, a real counselor, but it's definitely a place where where people express themselves. Yeah, it's it's definitely an outlet. I think, yeah, I, I think it's more. I, I personally, I think it has more positives than negatives. Just you know, what I'm saying that's just me. But yeah, like the barber shop. See. If I'm not mistaken, James didn't um didn't y'all start some like program like that at uh NIU? Yeah, so um so back when I started at um the place we all met, um uh, some people did start a program called Barbershop Talk and they pretty much gave me the curriculum to do it at you know this school. But I ended up not doing it and it was just because I didn't have the support that they had there. Now, there was other avenues, right, where, you know, like, I've always been a part of, you know, co-ed organizations, but also just male organizations where, like, you know, I had my Black Male Initiative group. I had my MOVE group. And, you know, we would have our events that we would do and our meetings with just us. But then we had the events where, we will open it up to the campus and get that um, female perspective. And with my move group, we did have a sister organization where, you know, we will bring them in, like I said, to get the woman's perspective because the woman's perspective is important. And everybody knows sometimes in a barbershop, you do get, you, you, you get a lot of women there, especially, you know, when you in the, when you in the, the hood in the trenches, because you got a lot of moms raising these boys and they got to take them to get haircuts, Facts. you know, and, you know, but a lot of stuff came out of that program. I actually just did a podcast uh, with some of the players from it not too long ago, and they and they touched on um, the barbershop program and just what it meant to the campus. And 
They actually would let people get cut up during the program too. Oh, that's you up. know to just give it that that feel of it being a barbershop. That's what I'm saying. You, you hear what he said? Women who single moms they go in there. And they had their sons with them, and they, you know what I'm saying, letting them listen in on, I mean, men talk, like, we just, we in the cool and, tri like, I know, I've been in there, and it's it's been women who just, oh, I'm, you about to get your hair cut, oh, how long is it going to take, oh, 30 minutes, oh, I'll be back, and then he just be in there cool and listen, you know what I'm saying, listening to men, yeah. you know what I'm saying, they kicking it, chopping it up, and they don't treat him no different, we, we all in there kicking it. Yeah, basically just a place where men could just be men. Un unprohibited, right? Mm -hmm. But and, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'm just going to talk about like I'm going to come in real quick. So like with this 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 whole red pill thing, I feel like honestly it's a bunch of dudes who got hurt very badly by a bunch of women, and a lot of them didn't really get a chance to like really be around men growing up, like. Like you know, you know how we had uncles and dads and dads and shit. Like it's kind of like dwindling a lot on on every front. Well, for black for black men for the most, because I only seem really see like really black dudes in the whole and, red pill thing. Yeah, I only really know about the the black uh, men. So so I'm seeing it's more like okay, most of these most of these mugs is younger, and they over here talking about they basically. Turn demon turn into like demons because women hurt them or they use them for money and they got they they basically got they got they got played they got played or whatever and that's that's one of the things where I'm just like okay that's where the unhealthiness is coming from and they're just like okay you do this to get a bitch you do that to get a bitch blah 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 and I'm just like all right I I fit I I I see what you're saying bro but that's that's hyper unhealthy. And like that, like that particular girl ain't did nothing to you. Like, why are you doing? Why are you dogging her? Like, that don't make that don't make no sense. But if I say something like that, oh, you a simp? Why you like? Why you like? I'm like, I'm guessing you ain't really you ain't really grow up with like men in your life, so you're not really conscientious of like of that. Cause like, if like growing around my uncles and stuff, they was like they don't they love women, but they also had their dad in their life. My dad, my dad's dad. My granddad, he was a complete another asshole, but you know, he's still a man. He was still able to like, you know, raise his sons into being, because it was eight of the mugs, raise his sons to be to be men, even though they were, even though they were monsters, even though they were all <laughs> every last one of them, whores, <laughs> all of them were whores, every last one. But they didn't, they didn't really like mistreat women. They didn't do nothing like nothing crazy like that. They just, they just like pussy. But they. um they never really like, oh, well, this girl got, did me dirty, y'all, blah, blah, blah. Fuck, fuck these bitches, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm mad, whoop de whoop. And, and they, then like, oh, I'm gonna dog every bitch I see. That's like, nah, it's just her. She fucked up in the head. And then they just like, there's like, not every bitch is like that, but they, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking how I normally talk around my family. But uh, <laughs> not every woman is like that. And it's like, mm, as a man, you kind of come into the understanding. And if, if any women actually really watch this, do not get offended with what I say. You're going to get offended anyway. I don't care. So, <laughs> a, you just said bitch you like 40 to, times. Go ahead. As a man, we come, you actually come into the understanding that women are kind of fucking retarded. <laughs> oh, God. Did you really say that? that. <laughs> He asked for it. Hey, he's tripping. <laughs> like, like not all of them, but like, it's more of a they think it's purely off emotions, and emotions do not make sense a majority of the time. Like, when it comes to their mate, like when it comes to like the person that they're dating, they go on a full blown like lost in the sauce fucked up way of thinking I don't know how they get there but they get there somehow and for like the red pill dudes they, they get with those type of women then some of those women in their head says well oh no my bad some of the women are jacked are really jacked up too so this goes along with the story with the red pill people 
and the blue uh, blue blue be gonna get thrown in here too. So <laughs> this story was this lady. She was speaking about how this dude in college really loved her, like he was legitimately all about her and just wanted to be with her. He was not trying to have sex with any of the girl, any of her homegirls that looked better than her. All her homegirls was trying to get on that with him, and he was just like, "No, nah, I want her." So he was not fucking with this dude. She she was literally just like. Make he she was asking for food. She she basically he paid for all her shit. Like he was just paying for her shit. He wasn't really like try like he he just liked her. Okay, and to be she, fair. Okay, yeah. you know he he was like blind blinded with love type thing. That's what it sounded like. It blinded with love, or he was like they said college. So I'm assuming dude, buddy was probably like eighteen, just like fresh out of high school, and he just really liked the girl. Ah, fair. So. She, she she finally gave him some pussy, so he they was they was having sex. She was like, "Oh, it was good, blah blah blah." But she was really cute in him because she was like, "He should have he should have known better and all this other shit." And I'm like, "Okay, you just fucked up in the head because you had a good man, but you just you know, you want someone who just wants to just knock you down." This is her prerogative. Her prerogative. That's what she wanted. Like that's what she was talking like. She just wanted someone that was going to knock her down. He was just like, "I really like you. I'm gonna." Treat you right. She was like, "Damn, I just want some dick." <laughs> but I'm being, I, I, I don't know how any way you want me to say it because that's how she was talking. Okay. So, so she ridiculed this man. And no, no, she was having sex with man. He thought they was together. Together. She was like, "Oh no," because she was fucking other niggas too. She was just, she was just giving him some because she made him not fucking her friends made her feel better about her because she wasn't the best looking out of her friend group it was it was it's a little fucked up like it, it's it's actually very fucked up honestly okay and uh home homeboy ended up just leaving he just left the school and went to a whole different state <laughs> damn his feelings was hurt <laughs> yeah he was he was hurt he was hurt because he had real feelings for the fuck but what I was really going out there was like red pill people jumped on that was like yeah see there that's what you mean you ain't supposed to be lo- loving these bitches or just knocking them down trying to fuck them and all that other shit and I'm like I think you're getting the wrong message out of that she just fucked up there's other women that actually like you know what, what he was doing for her yeah like she's just an ungrateful bitch <laughs> so I'm I'm just like you have to you have to really see you have you have to have a middle way you can't just be like full blown red pill and all the way blue pussy pill. You can't be any of that. You gotta just be you and just you know find the middle way. That's all I was really trying to get to with, with the whole, you know, talking. My bad. I, my bad if I kind of look took a second to get around to what I was trying to I, say. I, I see what you're saying. You you basically saying like, the dudes tend to overdo it one way or the other without balance. Yeah. The, he he's like, oh, I love you. She like, I, you all right or whatever. And instead of him, like picking up on it and like just using his, you know, critical, out. yeah, um, he he overdid it and got his feelings hurt more than he should have. Yeah. And then the red pill community took it and was like, yeah, see, this is why we don't treat women with respect for the most part. Like, this is like we treat them like chew toys. We just trying to get us a nut. Basically, we objectify them, which is essentially what a lot of them do. Um, they did do some down to baby makers. What can you, can you clean up? Can you do this? Um, but see, the problem with that is, on the other hand, a lot of them red pill dudes don't even be, don't even be worth what they want from her. Like, they're like, oh, can you cook clean? Blah, blah, blah. Like, well, can you change a tire, sir? Um, are you, are you, I'm just just being serious. Like, can you, can you like, do you work out? Cause is cuz okay I'm just I'm just going to say it like I I was listening to um a couple of YouTube uh YouTube videos and it was like oh yeah uh blah 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 I think I deserve women cuz yeah and it was, and like the host was like well like what do you what do you have blah 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 you know what do you what's what's what worth you, you deserve that shit exactly and Come come down to it, it wasn't nothing. Like dude was overweight. Uh, he was in college, so I mean, he ain't supposed to have no money. But like, y- you in college, 
you, you don't really have a plan plan from what he was saying. Uh, he was overweight and he just expected women to just flock to him and, and then put in <laughs> and put forth no effort. You you know what I mean. You already know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say his name. You know what I'm saying? But you know who I'm talking about. And I'm like, oh, shit. OK, so so like <laughs> like them type dudes. It's like a red pill. dude. Like he has nothing to offer. But I know you in college and shit, but you could at least. And then like apparently, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't slanging. You feel me? So it's like, bro, you really ain't got nothing. I can see if you maybe you you compensated in other ways. Like I got I got this bread. You know what I'm saying? It's about the motion in the ocean. You feel me? You can kind of slide in that way. But you like you're not even ha- like half the package, and you expect the full the the full table. But you're not even a leg. You feel me? I know exactly. It, it sounds all bad. Too. That's the funniest part. That sound all bad, all bad, bro. And I'm, but and, and that be the red, pe- like, like that yeah. be the the ones that's in denial. You feel me? They don't realize, like, they don't sit down and think, all right, well, why do I think I'm high high value or something like that? They a lot of them don't think like that. They just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just the man. I just, I ain't doing nothing with my life, but I'm the man. You be like, no, nigga, you bum, fucking bum ass nigga. <laughs> You got no man. You your ass is a bum. And it's what's funny is it's like if they be the main ones, like, I just shit, I I use a bitch. I do blah blah blah. And there be some of these dumb bonehead chicks that let let them do it, and then they be like, all men are trash. I'm like, no, both of you just fucking stupid. <laughs> nah, y'all just some dummies. <laughs> <laughs> that but that's real though. Um, I mean, but but that's cause. See the thing is, since I learned about the whole red pill concept, on paper it sounds good. Like, okay, hold yourself to a higher standard, because of course, um, women have these certain set of standards, which a lot of them are just unrealistic, right? They want you to have a jail record and also be <laughs> have a clean record at the same time. Um, <laughs> they want you to be nice but curse them out. Um, uh-huh. They want you to depend on them, but also have your own money, but be broke and use their money. You be like, what exactly is going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm exaggerating on some of them, but, but that's real. You know, that's real. And so. If you exaggerated, bro, that's the fucked up part. But, but like, I'm just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. That's just, but still, like, they, look, look. They don't even. They, they, <laughs> all right, my bad, my bad. No, but yeah, they they want these unrealistic people, and then these guys are be be getting like play. You feel me? And then they leave the other dudes in the dust, and then they become these extremists. You feel me? Um, and then that's when you get the this this whole community, and you're like, I don't, I understand where y'all coming from, but. How y'all going about it? Not too great. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just me. So yeah. some things some things from the red pill community I do agree with. Like, I don't think you should be paying for pussy. I'm I'm just that's just Bro. I don't, I, don't I, think you should. I ain't gonna but hold then again, you. Then again, some of them red pill people say, Yeah, but sometimes you gotta pay for it. So <laughs> I'm like what up? <laughs> <laughs> The contradiction. I'm like, all right, this is some old bullshit. I because I, I grew up, I, the way I grew up, I was like, dog, you, like, well, me, like, the way I grew up, the way my dad told me about shit, and the way my mom and everybody around me, it's like, you ain't got to pay for no goddamn pussy. You know how, you know how freely women try to give they shit up? Don't ever, don't ever pay for no goddamn, look, all that shit up front. Don't pay for no goddamn pussy. Don't do nothing stupid like that. Look. They say, hey, sometimes you got it. Look, I ain't, I ain't gonna not whatever you want to. I'm gonna say sex work to be politically correct, but I'm not paying for no OnlyFans. I'm not prostitute. None, none of that, bro. That's dead. There's two. It's a lot of women. You just, you just gotta talk to them, bro. Cause a lot of them don't know how to talk to, talk to women either. Like they. Oh yeah. They definitely don't know how to talk to women. And 
and they they be paying for it. They be like, oh, that it count. I'm like, I mean, it count, but no, it don't. But do it really? You know what I'm saying? No, it don't. You that person don't get no fuck about you. you I mean, it depends. It look, it depends on what you're looking for in when you having sex. Is it just you want pleasure or you want the emotion with it? Like you you can have pleasure without having the emotion, but if you want like a a connection, then you throw in everything. But but they. Oh, wow. Chris, Chris. So you act like you ain't paid for no OnlyFans. I was supporting my friends. <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> that was actually hey, someone I, say, I know. I thought, I thought y'all I had those Snapchat know. premiums. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, one. All right, one time. I'm not just kidding. <laughs> no, I, no, but that was, no, real talk, that was actually, like, that was her her business. I was just fucking supporting her. That, that was I said I would, and I did it. Okay. I mean, that's... I was just being a good friend. That was, that's just supporting, like, businesses, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? you just you trying to help her out, you feel me? Yeah, no, I'm just... That, that had nothing to do with, oh, I want to see her naked so badly. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I barely even... I literally made that count, paid for it, and I maybe saw one or two pictures, and then I just never looked at it again for the whole month. That's fair. But... Oh, you know what? I just caught my train of thought. What I was trying to say was... That you can have the um, what do you call the confidence? Like that's that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to build your confidence, right? And that's fine. That's the good part. That's where we. That's where we should be at every time when we talk about. Oh, well, I'm I'm red pill. I I shouldn't go. Oh, this is an extremist. He about to he about to call women all type of bitches and hoes. No, it should be like, oh, he gon' you know what I'm saying? Talk about his his. Ability to talk to women has gotten better because he's been in these groups of men who have, you know, helped him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, gave him advice on how to approach him and what to say, blah, blah, blah. And maybe he just got better from it. Then he got his own style. Because you can, because I believe in, look, I believe in um, not, not swagger jacking, but like taking somebody else's skill and then improving it. Like putting your own spin on it. You know what I'm saying? So they, like. The, like the moonwalk, you feel me? The moonwalk used to it, it didn't used to look like that. Michael Jackson was like, "Hey, I'm like, I buy that off you, bought it off him, and then he improved it. So he took it, spent it, and made it, you know, his own. And then essentially, I would debate better. But I think it's okay for you to somebody give you you know advice on something, take it, put your own spin on it, and, and do better. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Um, and that's just the confidence of it. But then the arrogance is just a lot. They're not conscious of the fact that they're what they want isn't exactly what um what they have. So it's cool to want to be confident and want to be better as a person or as a man, really. But you ain't really got to. They be out here degrading women, you know what I'm saying? And some, and then they be they be create monsters in in the process, low key. So yeah. So. They, they do, them, and they created other monsters. Hurt people, hurt people. Hey, I've been I've been holding that one in for for the longest. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Hurt people, hurt people, and like I think it's a people get to a point where they approach their situations differently. We can get to a better place, but I think that's just what with the red p- pill guys are like. It's just the the cycle of being hurt, and then now. They putting that same hurt on everybody they come encounter with until who knows when. Like, <laughs> so you know, it seems like some of them probably gonna be, um, you know, just that single dude until you know it's their time to go. You know, but yeah, I think that that's that's an important piece where like we just gotta do better, you know, with each other and you know treat each other right because you know it, it's it's not good to dish out. Um, like I've never been a person like I, I get cheated on. I'm gonna go cheat on a person. Like that ain't never been my thing. But some people they live they live and die by that, right? I'm, and so I'm I don't not think hold you. Go <laughs> cut it for a second. Just I don't mean to cut it, but <laughs> no, you. I I give a I give a chance or the, the I give a chance to get out. Like I I give them the chance to leave, and they be like, no, we can make it work. All right, you chose your fate. <clears throat> I'm a thought. <laughs> Oh, oh, you said it. You said it live. I got it recorded. 
<laughs> yeah, I know that. You want me to play it back? <laughs> yeah, but but continue. My bad, bro. I just had I just had this, this, the, the, the joke had to be thrown in just for a quick second. <laughs> True. Yeah, you know, and and I think with just you know with everything, I think that's a you know a great point where, of course, I. I, I, I Anybody, get out of the situation, get out, like the movie, get out, you know, you don't deserve nobody cheating, but, you know, I also don't think, like I said, you know, I think it's something wrong with you when you try to put out that same hurt that was given to you, and I know that some people say that's their way of, you know, coping with it, but that's not healthy, and, you know, you should definitely, you know, seek some help, and I think with like I said, the the red pill group. A lot of them are gonna be in for a very, I don't want to say a lonely life because we all know, like, if you if you just want to hook up with somebody one night stands, that's pretty easy to do in this day and age, right? Big facts. You know that, you know. But if you're looking for something long term, they're gonna be in for a, a long life of hurt, you know. And like I said, it's easy to knock somebody up, but are they gonna be great fathers? Who knows? Like I said, because already like we joke about this all the time but like you know being in school and you see these guys who you know use women they try to sleep with as many women as they can and the one thing we always say is like man life gonna be crazy when when that when that person had kids and they get them a daughter what they gonna do then that's gonna be they that's gonna be their karma because you know how you gonna feel when somebody do that to your daughter you know, and, and so, and, and that's just like always like, not saying I'm a menace, but, you know, crazy, right? <laughs> you know what's crazy? I, I know a particular person that said, if I have a daughter, I want her to be a lesbian. And the reason he said this because I know what type of nigga he was. He was super fucked up. Like, homeboy, Mm-mm-mm. homeboy would literally call girls bitches and be like, why this hoe ain't here yet? I'm trying to fuck. I'm trying to hurry up and get my nut off. I got I got shit to do. I got cl- I got to study for this test. Like basically, they they just using these using them as objects. And I don't know why they was getting letting themselves be used. I don't know. They need to go to therapy. But <laughs> I second the therapy thing. But I'm just saying, like the fact that you say you rather have your daughter be a lesbian than to be with a man that that shows how how truly fucked up you are as a human being. Cause, cause something's wrong with you. Not look at her crying over fingers. <laughs> fingers in a tub. <laughs> and a plastic penis. I mean, yeah. Well, that that that's you. I mean, I know you heard that the um, like I don't know if it's a meme or whatever. It's a saying where they like, oh, would you date yourself? Like, if you were the opposite sex, would you date yourself? Of course. That's essentially what what you were explaining, and uh, a lot of a lot of men ain't gonna say no or or yes. A lot of men ain't gonna say yes. My bad. Yes. Jeremiah saying hell yeah. I date me. <laughs> that's a that's that, that's a tough question. You know, like I ain't gonna say it's a tough question for me, but I'm just saying for some people it's definitely gonna be a tough question. And you know, I, I think even like I said to the to the point before that, like. When you become a parent, what's going to be your answer for one of the kids? Like, you know, it, it's a difference, you know, where, like, in your family, it's nothing but boy. And it's like, I, I, you know, the family want a girl, so, you know, I want a girl, you know, for that reason. Or it's like, oh, no, I want to, you know, I don't want a girl because of, you know, how I treated women growing up. That's a, that's a problem. And it's just interesting just to seek and hear conversations from people um, you know, like that now, and just be like, man, like I, I messed up growing up, and it's like, yeah, you did. Like, you know, women or guys was never meant to be treated, um, you know, in such a way because it's women that treat guys the same way. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. and so we weren't we we weren't meant to be treated that way. Like, if you have good intentions with somebody, hey, cool. But if you're trying to, you know, use them and run up a check. Shit, keep it moving. Like, you know, and I think when we get over that, like, you know, because people always like, you know, James, like, you know, 
you know, why don't you date when I said, because I'm intentional when I date. And, like, and I don't want just anybody. And it's a lot. Like, I don't want to say it's a test. Like, but it's just a lot I look for when I'm looking for um, somebody to to date. Because, like, now it's like when, when I'm dating, it's like I'm dating for some long term to possibly have kids. And it's just like I've seen enough where I know, like, you got to take your time with that stuff because. You know, you see friends, family, yeah. you know, who have situations like they be in horrible situations because of, you, didn't you know, take their time. they didn't take that. Exactly. They picked they the wrong person. And now you now look at you looking fucked up, miserable with the angry bitch mm-hmm. <laughs> or the abusive drunk nigga. Mm-hmm. Who got 10 kids. <laughs> out, out well, wait, it. before or after you get with them. <laughs> It depends. <laughs> it depends because you know it, it, it's funny because like some stuff be jokes, but it be it be some truth to jokes, right? I, and that's I, why people. I feel like honestly, the funniest jokes are the truest. Are the, the, the funniest <laughs> right. jokes are the truest shit ever. That's what makes you know, it so funny because it's so true. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, because people be like, like, because I know women say like, I work in a space where. It's women dominated. Y'all know when I worked at my last place, I was the only guy in the office. So you just hear a lot of stuff. And so, yeah. like, the one thing they all they they all always say is just like, man, I wonder how many kids he got. Because dudes be having their kids. Yeah, they do. Hey, dog, no cat. No cat. They be hiding them. They be hiding them. <laughs> you oh. know, and it just, and, and, you know, and people be asking me because, like, like so, you know, I, I got nephews, right? And so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be the cool uncle, right? Mm-hmm. But I had people ask me, like, you sure they met your kids? Ah! I'd be like, I'm positive. They be like, you sure? They say he looked just like him. Like, that's my nephew. They said, I'm like, this is my little brother's son. So, of course, he's going to look like me because that's my little brother's kid. Like, right. You know, but, yeah, see, they're going to favor me because this is, like I said, I feel like our genes are, are strong. Like I said, but... And there's gonna be mannerisms that that's the same, and so. But I get I get asked that like just from posting my 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 nephews. People are like you sure they ain't your kid? Like like no, these are not my kids. These are my nephews, you know. But that's the one thing I hear, and it's not false because I I I've heard of people doing it. Like I said, not to put nobody out, but like people are like man, you know, I can't add this person to my Facebook. Cause they gonna see the kid. I gotta add him on Instagram or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what's crazy? From from the same exact area. Like, do you know I know me times women literally ask me, "Hey, do you got kids?" I'm like, "No." I... It was like, and they thought I was just like, "How many bitches you fucking?" I'm like, "I never had sex. I was a virgin at the time. I wasn't doing shit." It was just, it was crazy. It was I, crazy. You gave off, you gave off that energy, Chris. Like you, you did. I'm, I'm sorry. I, okay, I could give off the energy. I wasn't fucking nobody. I was chilling. I mean, I mean, look. Once they find out how old I am, then I start getting no questions. I, I just, I, it's a little offensive because they don't think I'm <laughs> like of age. But people definitely be asking me, but hey, don't. <laughs> oh, you are gonna laugh? That's what we doing. <laughs> All right. So anyway, right? Hey, listen, you, hey, look, you don't want to be. You look. You want to stay six. You want to stay six as long as possible, bro. But well, look. But well, look. Look. Around and start looking at fucking fifty. Be, I, damn. Look at this old ass motherfucker. Nah, that's a fair point. <laughs> nah. See. See, when it comes, a lot people be asking me, "Do I have kids?" I'll be like, "Nah, I'm only twenty. Like, uh, somebody asked me that. I was uh. It's like, oh, you know, do you have kids? Woo woo. I'm like, nah, I'm only 24. Like, I said it, you know, I'm only, I, I think I'm too young. The lady, the, the the individual was like, oh, dang. I mean, my son got kids. He's the same age. I don't know if she was offended or what. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, oh, okay, that's that's cool. I mean, everybody different. You know, I tried to play it off, but <laughs> I don't think it worked. <laughs> Well, I I definitely know about folks hiding their kids. Now, I'm I mean like, but once you get past like like, I would say twenty five. Like I'm twenty five now, so like once you get past like twenty five, 
I don't expect people that you're gonna meet to not have kids. Like the chances go up that the the, the, the people that you meet, the chances go up the uh the uh, older you get, right? So mm-hmm. I don't ex- like by the time like by next year or so, like I don't I, I, I'm just at this point, right? I'm I'm not prepared to be a stepdad. Not just a regular dad. <laughs> I'm prepared to be a stepdad. So they, that's that's gonna be my new answer. That's I, I've already decided that they're gonna be like, why, why ain't you? I'm like, I ain't prepared to be a stepdad yet. So you know, when when I when I get there, you know, emotionally, when I'm mature, then we you gonna see me with somebody. Um, I, I mean, oh, wait. So okay, mentioning the kids now with the red now mentioning the kids with the red pill people when they talk about women that have kids, that's they they go so hard <laughs> so <laughs> ridiculously hard on women that have kids and i'm just like bro y'all acting like y'all not all right y'all didn't get pussy when y'all was younger but i was thinking i'm like y'all like y'all the type of dudes that like bro if you was this age and you was out here doing that and you got this girl pregnant and you decide to dip off now all of a sudden oh well i can't fucking fuck with a girl with kids because you know she, she got the mileage on her. She's running down. You know, her clock running out. You know, blah, blah, blah. Something wrong with her. Oh, she crazy. Why her man ain't around? I'm like, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? How you know it's all her? What if the nigga was the problem? Like, did, you, uh, did y'all ever ask? Or y'all, y'all just being fucking assholes? Like, what's going on? And then, you know what's crazy about that? A lot of them have kids themselves. And I ain't dating nobody with kids. Don't you have four how did you? Well, first off, how'd they get four? But like, don't you have four? How don't you date? You, you a kid, <laughs> right? <laughs> date nobody with kids. What's that? That that's some that's some un, that's some immature shit. For like, I'm not yeah. Just, like, I understand if you say, oh, I just don't want to date somebody with kids. If I ain't got kids, or I don't want to possibly get in the drama with another with the baby daddy. Yeah, Under, that's understandable. But no, you dogging her like she the problem. That nigga ran because of this, this, that, that, that. Don't even really know her for real. Facts. So it's like, what's like, what's going on with you? Like, what, like, what's up? Like, what's up, Chief? Because my mama was a, was a, uh, what you call it? Uh, basically, my mom just wanted my dad's sperm. She, she really did not want that nigga to stick around. I'm dead. He ended up sticking around. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just being truthful. That's what she tells me. And she actually meant it because she tried to get rid of that nigga multiple times. I remember as a kid. I'm dead. So, um, it, it's it's weird when it's like, okay, maybe a woman just wanted a baby. Did they, like no one threw threw that out there? Maybe they was thinking about getting married, thinking about all this stuff, and then it just didn't work out. You not know, because of her, not because of him. Maybe it just didn't work out because of their personality, and they just didn't figure that out until years later after they had kids. Like, just so many variables, but no one ever asked the question. It's just like, it's the woman's fault. How? Yeah, I see, that's the thing. Because people do grow. People don't stop growing, like, forever, right? You're always supposed to grow. So that, that, that is a fair point. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely one of the, like, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not red pill, but I, I, I do, some of the ideologies, I do be like, I I can agree with that one. (laughs) <laughs> no, I know, I agree. They got some good shit in there, but them motherfuckers crazy. Definitely got some. I'm, I'm just saying, they do got a point sometimes because that's why I like being in my position, so I can be like, yeah, I ain't out here thotting them. All the, okay, so I ain't, I ain't that bad, about right? I'm, I'm about to say I ain't. I was about to come for you. <laughs> Mr. Ooh. Mr. Demon time. Hey, we we are on oh. deep. We look. We on the internet. I ain't. I, I'm. A, I'm gonna plead the fifth, right? But, but look, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I be chilling. You feel me? So I can. I can say stuff, and and I be all right, cause I be chilling. Can't no. Can't nobody prove nothing. So I'm good. Right. <laughs> right. Man, I, I think. Except for those save DMs. <laughs> Man, I, I think I think with the kid argument, I think that's a valid argument, right? Where, you know, if you got them, you can't say, "Oh, I ain't gonna date somebody with it." Like that just don't make sense to me, right? Yep. And I agree with what you were saying, how um, Zeno, about you know just um, 
you know, being in a space where, like, as you get older, man, a lot of, like, a lot of women I'm going to encounter, a lot of them are going to have kids. I, I, I've always, like, when I was in when undergrad, I kind of came to the notion where it was just like, I, I ain't going to be opposed to dating women with kids. I dated women with kids before. Um, and I think, like, sometimes people do, do get kind of like, damn. I might have to be a stepfather or whatever, but it's like, I think sometimes just being a good role model, like, you know, like more than anything. And then just seeing what happens, because I think that's going to stand out, um, you know, more than anything, you know, but as far as like, you know, the ideology, like I do think some people just be capping, like I said, cause you can't say like, Oh, like for example, like, you know, I know people that there's, there's always this big argument, right? Um, who should do what? Um, women make more than guys, so forth and so on. You know, because they're more gender educated. Roles? Gender roles? Yeah, no, not not gender roles. I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I'm talking about income now. Oh, income. Okay. Um, you know, okay. Because... And so, depending on who you're talking to, you know, right? Um, there's a lot of verbiage out there where people are like, oh, hey, you know. But despite that, you know, a guy's going to make more. I'm not going to disagree with that. But, you know, like, you have people who say, like, oh, I need to date a guy that's making six figures. Yep. And it's just like, you know, do you make six figures? You know. Six figures of coochie? <laughs> okay, I don't. You know. You know, and, 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 and not, not, and not like, like I said, and not trying to diminish anybody, like I said, because, you know, some people say, like, you know, date. And your range or your 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 weight, like I I don't know. Like I, said, I always tell people, like you know, that's a tough conversation where I think you just gotta figure that out when you get to that space where and y'all do what's best for your household because you know I think more than anything that everybody should always be prepared for the future, and I think some of these crazy anomalies of you know. Oh, I'm gonna pay the bills. He's gonna take care of the mortgage, <laughs> you know. But what if you what if you checking the bag more than he is? So you know he supposed to go broke, you know. The mortgage where you could pay the mortgage, he could pay the bills. You know, or, or, or y'all come up with something like I said that's creative, that works for y'all, you know. And uh, so so you know it just be stuff like that where like, you know, I get it, but I think we we have to like throw out what we know what was done in the past and create something new, like I said, that works for you. Um, like I said, you know, works for you and your, you and your situation because, you know, if we listen to social media, yeah, you fuck it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be a lot of, a lot of hurt people, a lot of misconceptions. And like I say, you know, because like right now, because people always tell me like, oh, well, you know, when you're dating, we shouldn't, you know, um, women shouldn't pay for dates. What the fuck? And it's like, it's like, okay, but I always tell people, I said, all the women I've dated, like, that that first initial date, right, I could pay, but, like, after that, we take turns paying, and you got you got some women who don't believe in that, and, they, and, and it's just like, well, if I'm interested in you, I should do stuff for you as well, and it's just like, why, well, why don't everybody, everybody don't have that same notion, they just think, well, I'm going out on a date, he got to pay, you know, and it's just like, that's, that's not fair, and I think that alludes to the culture of like what we've been talking about with the conversation on, you know, maybe somebody being feel used because they did all this shit for you and you didn't do anything for them, and now they butt hurt because they might have invested, you know, six months, a year, two, three years, and they might have got, you little, know, little some somebody. Valentine's Day lingerie a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, man, I was gonna, I was gonna cut it when you said like, it's like some women like, yeah, I don't pay for dates, blah blah blah. And I was like, I don't know where that mentality came from because I'm not gonna lie to you, I've only ever really dated one woman that has not paid for. Me. I'm being so serious when it comes to that. I'm being so serious. I've used the women literally paying for me. I'm gonna say this in in for dates. 
food, Chris. All that, all that I, shit. I'm gonna say that it's either two things. I'm gonna say. Hold on, hold on. Well, let me let me finish. Let me, <laughs> okay. Let me finish before you, let me finish before you go. <laughs> and what I saw them doing, like, I would like I would actually try to pay for them. Sometimes they'd be like, "Nah, put your shit up." I'm like, "All right." So, I'm just saying, like, when it came to that notion, like, the girl said that, and I'm like, I'm I don't know who, like. I'm trying to figure out like what what happened like like for them to get to that but I don't know maybe my situation is different but go ahead Holland go crazy I already I, know you about to come with some bullshit oh yeah I'm about to say something to you real quick so so <laughs> I'm gonna say this in real respect so it's either two things that was happening I'm about to be respectful but go ahead either you was the pimp and you didn't even know it or you was being whored out and you still didn't know it Oh, yeah, most likely. Cause most likely. Th- that don't get me wrong. You 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 was definitely you you be pulling them. I'm just saying, I'm I'm gonna shout that out. You know what I'm saying, Chris be pulling them. You feel me? I just feel like they were trying to hold you out. That's all I feel like I can pay for this food, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the roles are just reversed, you feel me? Or you might have just been a baby that was like why they were so mad when I was just like Alright, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> they, was, they was trying to clap them cheeks. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's that's something that could have been happening. You either you was a pimp and they you was just getting everything, or you just you just got what you needed like a woman and just left the situation. Cause technically nobody owe you sex. I'm not gonna hold you. But you you understand that idea comes from gender norms because that's that's something that's been established. Where the guy invites you, pay for the day, pick you up, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, we've gotten past the whole, like, 1980s gender norm thing where women do make more, most, I was just coming from, like, a black perspective. Most black women make more than black men. Yeah. Um, So they have the choice, like, they have more of a choice to, like, oh, like, you could totally pay for that. You make more than me. Like, why would you even put me through <laughs> this hardship? You know you make six figures. No, you know, I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, but seriously, though, like, they, it's, it's, it's not the same as it was before. You can't want change, but want, um, like, the same things that used to happen before. Because now, like, before you didn't really have much of a choice. Now you have a choice. So, um, it's just the old school ideology with the, with the new school, like, um, uh, twist on it. Right? Um... I think that this is just me personally. I feel like if we just going on a date, quote unquote, shit, I think either we about to sit, we, we going to either go halves on it. I, okay, so I, I think if I if I invite you out, I, I if you be like, oh, I expect, if they expect me to pay and I invited them out, that's fine. I, that's not a problem with me. But if we're going to be like equal, if it's going to be like a fair like outing, we should just either, uh, we should just pay for ourselves like instead of oh i'm a let's i'm gonna pay for everything and you know whatever like let's you pay for yours i pay for mine and we just we, we just cool and we were just trying to get to know each other that way there nobody owes anybody anything it's just like i was just going out with one of my my friends you know what i'm saying yeah that, that's how i think it should be that way there is because you know when guys take girls out as, of course they spending bread on them to to whatever they expect sex. It's it's not like they. It's inherently like a bad thing to expect it, but can you blame them at the same time? You know, can you blame them? Um. So, I feel like if the whole gender norms is is is, you can't have old school gender norms. It's I think that should be completely like taken away at this point. Um, and that's and that's where a lot of them dudes come from, or they're just like. Oh, I got these old school gender norms, but they got new school ideologies and principles and stuff. So you gon' you gon' do what you gon' oh take them out on days woo woo and expect this because that's what we understand is supposed to happen. But it doesn't, and now these dudes they end up be, like you say getting burned. But that's that's on them. So I'm just gonna come in just for a quick second, just gonna throw this in there. So because it seems like now. Like, like, Colin, you saw this happen where I was like, well, I'm asking girls out on dates. They, they, they not trying to go out on no damn date with me. They trying to fuck. 
I did not. I'm literally just like, dude, I just want to go on a date. I'm trying to have fun. I'm not trying to just, you know, I'm not just trying to like just clap your cheeks. Like, I don't even know you. I'm just trying. I'm like, I want to go on this date real quick, have some fun, get to know you. If we fuck, we fuck. But like, that, that has nothing to do with like, that no, they they was not trying to hear none of that shit. <laughs> they didn't want they didn't want to go on a date. They wanted just dick. They just wanted just dick, and I was just so good, bro. It confused me so much because I was like, I just wanted to go to the movies. But see, they were trying to whore you out. See, there you go. They were trying to whore you out. See, you don't you don't want me in this situation. You know what? I believe you. They trying I've to you. That, I've been saying that for the long. They were trying. They gonna take they you. I'll pay for the date. I think I deserve. I deserve some ass. Some ass. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm just saying. That's why I don't like. Look, that's why I don't like people paying for me. Cause I'm like, nah. She gonna think she deserves something, and I ain't got nothing for it right now. I left it at home. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I ain't even got it on me. I left it at home. <laughs> Except the crib. <laughs> <laughs> and then she gonna be like, can I come back with you? Like, nah. <laughs> I ain't even going home. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, at least there was a, a common interest, you know, for Chris. Like, you know, he was interested in them and they was interested in what they was interested in. So, that was a common interest, man. That's the good thing. There was no damn common interest. I wanted to go to the movies. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, you wanted to, you wanted to go to movies for time with her. She wanted to spend time with you, but in a, in a different way. And that was a common interest. Versus, 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 if it had been somebody who you didn't want to date or go on a date with, that would have been a completely different scenario. Yeah. True. That is very much true. You know, so so that's what I'm thinking. Like, like I said, because you know, we I've been that you know, and I think everybody be, be in a situation where, you know, you had those situations where you know somebody said like, oh hey, you know, we should go. I was like, I don't, I'm not looking at you that way. Like, mm-hmm. you know, and then you got to approach that situation different because it's like, you know, it's like, hey, I'm not trying to date you, so it's like, you know, that's gonna if we do anything, that's gonna trigger stuff, and people do stuff to get you to do stuff like. Oh, it, you know, like, oh, like, because I had a girl once, like, oh, can you help me, you know, do this? Like, Ooh. I helped the girl at the interview. At this point, she knows, like, I'm not interested, but I'm just being cool. Then it's like, oh, um, I, I knew, and to me, it was a setup because she, like, oh, you know, I owe you a drink or something. This that girl don't even setup. drink. She, she don't even drink. Doing. She don't even drink. Nah, yeah. She knew what she was doing. Yep. <laughs> Have I gotten that drink? No, because I know it's going to be a situation I don't want to be in. Like, <laughs> boy, she was trying to, she was trying to get She's trying to get you loose. Yeah. <laughs> she was trying to get you loose so you get her loose. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. That flu was, try- <laughs> was trying to turn you into the silly putty. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, all I'm saying is, look, I, I just, I, 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 ain't, I ain't too great. Like, I, I do low key. I, in retrospect, I may or may not be leading women on. I don't be trying to, but I think it's, it's because I'm so intense. Because I'm either super cold, or I'm super like, like into the conversation or interactive. So I think it just comes off wrong. But I don't be trying to. But I realize it. Like I do be doing it, but. But see, I'm, I'm conscious okay. of it. it nah, Chris, you you got thigh energy. That's different. That's different. Your aura. Yeah, one, as soon as they get into your little your little aura, they just oh oh yeah, I know what's about to happen. She like I'm about to clap his cheeks. <laughs> that's different. God damn. That's that's different. That's a little different. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? You got your um your nin. You don't even realize your nin always activated. You got that little radius. <laughs> Yo, Nen, you gotta get get control of it. Y'all talk to you know what I'm saying. I heard kill of a pretty not just fitting. Uh, but yeah. Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. To, what you just said is the reason I was. Remember what my ass was wearing the fucking uh, bleach stain uh fucking uh jogging pants. Yeah. The bleach stain sweatpants, 
a fu- like this big ass baggy shirt, and I was always wearing hoodies. Hey, look, hold on, was, bro. You got the jogging pants. You know the jogging pants is the sleepover special, right? Oh, Jesus Christ! Come on, man. <laughs> I was I was doing everything to make myself less attractive. I did that shit on purpose. You got and the- that shit still didn't work. That's because you was doing it the wrong way. Bro, what was right. I supposed to wear? Uh, not the jogging pants, not the sleepover special, the jogging pants, the shorts. Nah, but this, but this is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're supposed to do. you supposed to go hoop. Okay. And then just pull up. <laughs> 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 That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, ah, yeah. oh, hell no. <laughs> Hey, I'm over it. All right, all right, all right. To 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 bring it back. Okay, okay. Um. So, hey, wait. Just for, just y'all ever heard of the pink pill? No, nah. I haven't. So it's like the red pill, but it be women just trashing. Oh, I I only heard like a little Feminism? snippet of it. it I heard <laughs> a snippet of it. Like somebody was explaining it, how they. I guess they be going in on men or something. I, I'm not 100 percent sure it was, but I know it's a such thing as a pink pill. I thought y'all might have been up on it, especially no. the whole tap. Um, Excuse the fuck <laughs> out of me, David. I, I, w- <laughs> I thought I was a thought. You son of a bitch. You can be a thought in a hotel. No, I can't. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can be the piece and uh, the thought tree at the same time. Um, but look, but look, hear me out though. Don't. I don't. I don't want any more than less now. Nah. Uh, look, look, hold on. <laughs> no, but like, yeah, this. Like I say, this. I'm just gonna say this. I think. I think the group. You know what I'm saying? The, the manosphere, right? I think they do have some good intentions there. Like it's definitely changing the dynamic of how. Um, men are discussing how they feel about like women and stuff not just cursing them out and stuff um it's, it's making more outlets we're saying things we're not accepting certain stuff that's going on with, with with them treating us bad and stuff like that and i think to a degree it's almost holding them accountable for what they want which is equality so i do think the whole the whole red pill thing is it, it has its advantages but with it but with everything there can it be um it's an excessive amount and then it becomes toxic so i'm just gonna say that that that's how i feel about it so anything else y'all want to say you know what i'm saying that's that's all i got on the red pill Mm. i don't think i got nothing else um i mean well i said everything i had to say so chris Red pill, and then you know what I'm saying you get to be the, the most confident person in the world, or you can take. They're not even confident. The motherfuckers are insecure as shit. All right, I was about to make a matrix reference, but you're not wrong. Um, but anyway, any last words for the audience? Um, it could be anything. Be confident in yourself and try to see things on a healthier spectrum. Don't just, you know, blame everybody for your problems. I would say go go get therapy, but like real talk, honestly, you could talk to your own pro- talk to you could talk to yourself and get most of your own problems out the way. You could write it all down in journals. You could do some artwork. You could actually, you know, just find a way not to do toxic shit and hurt people. Stop listening to social media because that shit got you fucked up. Stop listening to to the celebrities because they hyperly got you fucked up just you know be yourself and just think about what's the right thing to do for you and how you want to be treated and just go with that I, uh, uh go get therapy james you got anything else? Preacher. <laughs> man I'm, I, I i'm just gonna echo with with with, with what my boy chris said you know i think he said a lot of stuff um therapy and you know don't let social media dictate your life like you know you're going to be in for a lot of disappointments and hurt and you know it's okay to go through your L's alone uh, because sometimes your friends and your family are those toxic people in your life as well and so um, they're not the best people to let into your relationship until you know it's, it's, it's solid so 
hey, take that with a with a with a grain of salt, and uh, everybody just make sure you have a positive outlet, you know, where you can get what you need to be a better person in life. Okay. Um, I ain't really got nothing to say. Um, do get get good. Uh, and we out. <laughs>